Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. Today I'm gonna do just a really quick, easy one. A small, short video, it's not gonna be a very long one, but I was asked, the uh, I did a couple of trainings on ham radio operation, how to program it. So I was asked, how do you program these radios? They're really simple, they're really easy, uh, they're not hard to do, but they wanted to know how to program repeaters. Uh, how do you find repeaters and how do you program it? So today's video is about how to find the repeaters in your area and how to program it. And you're gonna find out this is really easy. It's gonna take about five minutes to do this and you're gonna be out there talking. And once we program it, we're gonna come back out here and we're gonna test it. So let's go to the computer and let's get you on there and let's make it happen. Hey, hey real quick, we're gonna go ahead and get started and uh, we're gonna make this as quick as possible for you. Make it really easy. So the first thing you wanna do is go to repeaterbook.com. Go ahead and type that in, repeaterbook.com. Uh, once you get here to repeaterbook.com, you're going to go to this little uh, area. Do not You don't have to log in or create an account. Just go right here where it says repeater book. And you're going to click on that. It's going to take you to this page. And what I need you to do is go to the top left up here and you see North American repeaters. You're going to click on that. There we go. Give it a second to come up here. And it's going to take you to this page. And then just pick the state that you're in. For me, it happens to be Texas. So highlight it, pick it. So I'm picking Texas. And it's gonna show me everything that Texas has. It says right here that there's 1,801 repeaters uh, in the database. That's pretty awesome. Um, that's what's in the database. It could be more. So you can go by band, you can go by features if you're going digital like DMR, uh, link systems, uh, emergency services like Aries, Racy's, you need to learn to weather. Uh, you know, it's, so just, pretty pretty cool stuff if you're along the interstate it, it, it'll it'll you can click on it it shows you what the frequencies are near it near uh, near you uh also right here you can do it by town uh and if you go further down you could do this by by county as well but we're going to do it by town so i live in waxahachie texas so we're going to click waxahachie and uh, let's see what it brings up for a repeater near me so i have 145.4100 here. So 145.410, because the other zeros you're not going to use. Okay, so I need you to write down what your frequency is here in your area. Mine is 145.410, so that's the first thing you're going to write. Next thing you're going to write is the offset. Notice here I have a negative 0.6. Okay, these are really two things. The negative is a one, and the 0.6 is another. So when you go to program them, you're going to program them separately. So remember that. But you want to write down uh, the, well, that it's a negative and a 0.6 megahertz. The next one is going to be your tone. Okay, so your tone in basically is your transmitting tone. Is one, you know, in my case, is 162.2. Write down whatever yours is. Okay, this is what they also call the transmit CTS tone. Okay, so when we go to program it into your radio. You're going to find TCTS in your radios, okay? So you're not going to find tone in. So for my case, 162.2 is my transmit CTS tone, TCTS tone. All right, so you should have frequency. Your offset, in my case, it's a negative and 0.6 megahertz. And my TCTS <laughs> tone uh, is 162.2. So I've got one, two, three, four, four different things there, right? All right, so once you have that, we're gonna go to a radio. So let's go to a okay, radio, we're ready to program it. So you got the information that you need, let's go ahead and program it. So if you notice, I got the little tick mark that went up and then now the tick marks come back down again. So that's the um, that's the, the one we're gonna focus on. So let's go ahead and program whatever number you had. For my frequency, I had one, four, five, Go ahead and plug in whatever your frequency was. And then you can hit menu and we can go to your, let's find your TCTS tone. So let's do that. Let's see. And you just kind of scroll right through until you find it. Ah, okay, well, I think I went a little bit too far. There's my TCTS tone. You're gonna hit menu. And then now you're going to change it to whatever yours is. So mine 
if your is 162.2, find yours. Just kind of scroll right through there until you find your, your number. I mean, it's coming up here. There it is. Mine's 162.2. So make sure you keep going to you get yours, and then we'll hit menu to confirm that. Okay. And then we're going to go find our our offset and also our negative. And I told you that our offset's kind of made up of two things. So let's go find what the other thing is. I'll show you here real quick. Uh, okay, I went too far. There's my offset. The soft D, I want you to find that one. SFT minus D. This is how you change off, plus, or minus. Notice how I told you mine is a minus 0.6, so I need it to be minus. So I got it on minus, and then I'm going to save it. So go ahead, the same thing for you. Your, yours could be a positive. It could be a minus. So do the same thing. And then we're going to hit the, and we're going to go ahead and find our offset. There's our offset. Hit the menu and type in the, your, uh, your offset. In my case, it's. six and then you hit menu to save it and so i just typed everything in and so now i have completely programmed that radio for that for that frequency so let's see if we can't get anything i'm in the house so i don't think i'll get anything but let's try it ki5 moa testing oh it came back that when you get that feedback, that's how you know that you got it right, okay? KI5 MOA testing. Yep, it came back. So it is programmed correctly. Oh, that is awesome. We'll go outside and we'll see if we can't get anybody. So that's how you program a, a repeater into your um, uh, radio. This is a Bofang radio, like I said. It's a, a UV5R, simple little radio. You can get it for about 25, 30 bucks on Amazon, different kinds of versions for them. Um, so a nice little emergency radio to have. All right, let's go outside and see if we get, can't pick anybody up. Hey everybody. So now is the moment of truth. Uh, I, we actually were able to get it to work inside the house once we programmed it, as you saw, but now we're going to try it outside, see if we can't get anybody. And, uh, I don't know, we may, we may not. It's, but at least we want to make sure that we get that feedback that comes back to us from the repeater. So let's try it. KI5 MOA testing. Came right back. Came right back. Okay, five MOA. Anybody out there just want to do a quick radio check? Just kind of want to always, when you key up, before you key up, always listen to see if there's anybody on there, uh, and then go ahead and uh, do your call and uh, give it a second. Okay, five MOA testing. Anybody out there for a quick radio check on? It's coming back. So I am hitting the repeater. But there's nobody on there right now to be able to test it. But that's how simple it is. It works. And that's how you know when you hit a repeater, when you hit get that feedback. That's it. Hopefully that helps you. And uh, get out there and try it out. This is really cool. It's a great, uh, not only is it a, uh, 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 do we call it a pastime or a hobby? Hobby. That's what it is. It's a great hobby. It's great for emergency. So you, if you ever need to communicate with anybody, this is the way to do it. And as you saw on the uh, on the uh, on the website at repeater.com, repeaterbook.com. Uh, uh -uh. That was actually that's actually the uh, that was actually the repeater uh, calling out, uh, and it does that every so often. So you know that you got the repeater. But anyway, repeaterbook.com. Lots of frequencies. Lots of things you can check out and test. Make sure you have a license before you start to communicate. That's my uh, my disclaimer. Talk to you all later. Bye.